In this video, we're looking at how to make this awesome, good looking light effect in Photoshop. This effect can be used as wallpapers and screen savers, like you see on my desktop right now. And if animated, can be used as intros and outros for your YouTube videos. Without any further ado, let's jump right into the video. Hey everybody, Innocent here. Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you're old here. Thank you so much for showing up. So to make this effect possible, we're going to need this flares. I'll put a link to download them in the description. Let's jump into Photoshop. So I'm going to create a new size of 1920 by 1080 in pixels. But then you can obviously choose any size that you want to use. So I'm going ahead and I'm going to click OK. First off, I'm going to fill this with a black solid background. You can choose any of the colors that you want. But then I just want this to be very easy for me. So I'll go for my test tool and then I'm going to make sure that I'm using this font called Acrobat. A link will be in the description. One of my favorites, of course. And then I'm going to use the semi bold right over here. So I'm going to tap here and I'm going to click T for a test okay so i'm going to select the color and it's going to be black obviously it's going to blend with the background because the color is also black so i'm going to press ctrl t to transform it a little bit press ctrl a and make sure that it is center aligned then i'm going to right click it and then blending options and then i'm going to add a stroke to it so the stroke i'm going to use five and the first color that I'm going to choose would have to be red. So I'll go for red over here and then I click OK. So apparently this is going to be done in separate like one by one I mean. So I'm going to duplicate this by pressing Ctrl J and then it duplicates this and then I hold Shift and drag it to the right side like this. And then I can easily edit this one to the following test that I want to use. So for instance, E, and then I quickly right click on it, go to the blending options, and then I change the stroke color to the next color that I want to use. So in this case, I'm going to make use of the color yellow. So I do the same thing for the next one, duplicate by pressing Ctrl J, and then I can select this and press Ctrl A to select all, and then I will change the test to X, and that I'm going to change the stroke color by right clicking, going to the blending options, and then I'm going to change the stroke color to the next color that should be green or any color that you decide to give to this. So probably green like this will do. Okay. And then, okay. And then we do this for the last one, which is the letter C again. So we go back to our blending options and then we're going to change the last color to something light blue. Okay. All right. So let me pick a color from here and then I click OK and then you're good to go. So after this, I'm just going to select all of them. So I hold shift and then I select up to the T and then I'm going to group it. So all these are into one. Now I can press Ctrl A, make sure that it is center both horizontal and vertical. So these are exactly in the middle of the document. So now it's time to add the actual effect to this. So I can just easily press Ctrl T to open up this one a little bit like that. So we go to our files and then I have the lens flare over here. Basically, we're going to use just one and then we're going to manipulate it with the help of the hue and saturation. So I drag this and drop it inside of Photoshop. I'm actually placing it on top because I want it to be above the test all. So I can drag it inside of the grouping. So I right click and rasterize this. We don't want this particular WW blah blah over there. So we're just going to select the eraser and we can easily delete this one. Okay. Now we're going to go to the blending mode and then set this one to screen so that it takes the blacks off and then it's left with only the 
particular lighting that we need so we're going to press ctrl t and try to manipulate it around this like like that and then close it up like this it depends on how big or small you want it but then you just have to manipulate it and then you place it right over here so with that we're going to duplicate it for the greens also so this is how you manipulate this one so you can place it anywhere like this place or that i don't know where i should put it but then okay here is good so you press ctrl u to activate the hue and saturation and then you can easily change the color from here so i'm looking for something like green okay perfect right over there and then i'm going to duplicate i'm coming back for the original one that is the first one here and then i'm going to duplicate that bring it over here and then press ctrl u to activate the hue and saturation and then if i slide it to the side i can get something yellowish also for my yellow and then i click ok and then i go back for the main one drag it to the reds and then i can do the same thing for the red also so i slide it over here and then i can easily have it like that so yeah once you're done with that we are almost done and then you go in for the last flare it should be on top of all the other flares so i stretch it out over here right click and rasterize and then i can set this one also to screen so this makes the lighting very much brighter if you don't want it like this you can easily go to filter and then to blur and then you can go to gaussian blur to blur this out a little bit so that it wouldn't look that very hard so that is it and then you click ok and then you are good to go now the good aspect of this all is that you can easily edit any of these tests to anyone that you want to use so if you can see the one in my intro i have Eno, so you can easily change this one to i and then n so even if i put the psd in inside of the description over there you can easily download it and then change it to your name without having to go through all these processes so let me know if you'd want to have the psd inside of the description as well so that you can easily manipulate this without having to go through these processes but then it's good to try to give it a try and to practice on your own it helps you to find out different things that you can do with this particular effect that's pretty much it thank you so much for watching please don't forget to like and subscribe and then i'll see you in the next one innocent here and bye